What's up you guys? I am Kate King and today I'm talking about integrity and how to awaken to your biggest, most juicy and beautiful life by being aware and true to yourself. So the word integrity sometimes kind of has a heavy feeling to it, gets paired together with feeling like righteousness or black and white kind of thinking about right and wrong. So I would like to work today under the framework of an author um, named Martha Beck, and she wrote the incredible book, The Way of Integrity. Um, she also talked on various podcasts about her book, one of which is the Oprah Super Soul podcast, which I would highly recommend for you to just sort of dabble into Martha's work and see if it's something that calls to you. So she talks about integrity as something that is wholeness within your system and sort of alignment and being in flow or in resonance with a feeling of freedom, a feeling of peace. So integrity, um, she talks about, you know, like in an airplane, when the airplane's about to take off, you want your airplane to be in full integrity, meaning that all the pieces are working and everything is functioning as a whole. And so we operate that way as well. And so for us to be in integrity, it means that everything in our body needs to be resonant with the choices that we're making with a feeling of yes or a feeling of no, rather than this sort of yes, no, maybe, I'm not sure, what am I supposed to do? I'm saying yes, but really I wanna say no. Or I'm saying no, but I desperately wanna say yes. So those are some examples of what it is like to be out of integrity with yourself. Self. So in her book, uh, Martha Beck talks about six ways of knowing that you are out of integrity. So one of them, the first one is feeling of loss of purpose, feeling like your life is kind of meandering along and you just don't really know where you belong or what you're supposed to be doing. Things feel kind of meaningless. Um, number two, to know that you're out of integrity with yourself is bad moods, feeling grouchy, feeling irritable, snapping at people, not feeling like you can see the best in others and in yourself. Another third reason is addiction, reaching for things that are like vices or things that numb you or pull you away from the intensity or the dullness of your life. Um, you may also notice physical health declines, whether it's getting sick frequently or just feeling lethargic and exhausted all the time. Um, you may even have a cancer diagnosis or an autoimmune disease that you're fighting with. The fifth reason is persistent failure in relationships, feeling like the relationships that matter to you aren't getting what they need and you're not able to give what you need or get what you need from those relationships. And then lastly, the sixth indication that you're out of integrity with yourself is failure in your career and feeling like you're kind of flying under the radar, not feeling purposeful, not being successful at work or noticing that you might be checking out, not giving your work your true heart or all your effort. So these are just kind of some easy little checklists to go through to ask yourself if you're feeling out of integrity with yourself. And so there is this concept that I learned from some of my teachers, Amy, Amy and Miyuki, who I've mentioned in a previous video. Um, they were really important guides for me on my own journey. And they taught me the concept of true yes and true no. So true yes and true no are both living in high integrity within your body. So the way that you can tell if something is a true yes for you or a true no for you is that you have to get out of your headspace and feel somatically into your body. So this means calling to mind something, maybe there's a decision at hand that you're not totally sure about. So holding it in your mind and then listening to your body as well as your mind. Noticing if your body is feeling tense when you're thinking about this, or if your body is feeling slightly nauseous, or if your temperature changes. That could be an indication that something is a no for you. And if you instead feel a lightness or an excitement or a, a warmth or a buoyancy in you, that could be an indication that something is a yes for you. 
So where we get out of alignment with ourselves is if we're sitting with the situation and we're wondering if we should do a yes or a no answer, if your body is giving you a no, but you override that no and you say yes anyway, that's an example of living out of integrity with your system. And on sort of the converse, if your body is giving you a yes and you're excited and you want something but you don't feel like you deserve it or you don't know how to accept it and so you say no, that's living out of integrity with your system. So listening for true yes and true no and then acting in those ways is the best way to live in alignment and with integrity. So Martha also talks in her book about how you can always know it's the ocean because when you taste it, it tastes salty. So you can always know that it's integrity because when you feel it, it feels like freedom. It doesn't feel tense. It doesn't feel conflicted. Right? There isn't a feeling of, oh, I have to do this, or I should be doing that, like pressure. It feels like your choice has been made freely and you feel um, loose and open and sort of like, like willing. And so that is the way to live in true integrity. Another thing I really wanted to share with you that I liked about Martha Beck in her book is she talks about integrity cleanses. Going for a period of time where you only act in the highest integrity and you let go of all the shoulds of the impulse to lie or to sort of do as you're supposed to do and you just simply act in congruence with your true integrity, with those true yeses and those true noes. And she talks about how she did this and she did an entire year of this integrity cleanse where she committed to not tell a lie of any kind for a year and if you think about it this is really tricky because we lie for all kinds of reasons and I can definitely tell you more about this in my video about lying so check that out but we lie because we're trying to be socially appropriate or we're protecting ourselves or we don't want to hurt someone's feelings. And so there's a whole battery of reasons why we would tell lies, but she went through an entire year where she didn't do that. And guess what happened? Her life simultaneously fell apart and improved drastically. So she noticed that acute health issues that she had been struggling with for her entire life went away. And her system started to regain balance because she was living in coherence and in integrity. At the same time, relationships that weren't meant to be there left. Career that wasn't in alignment with her integrity fell away. Her marriage that wasn't in alignment with her integrity fell away, right? And so she talks about how you will lose everything that is not true but you will keep the things that really matter. It's like burn everything but the truth. So this way of integrity requires a lot of courage. It's brave work because it means that you're going in some ways against the overculture of our society, which tells us what we should and shouldn't do, how we should and shouldn't behave, who we should and shouldn't be, how we measure ourselves. So this way of living with integrity means that you are honoring your own truth and what feels real and aligned for you regardless any messages or pressures or fears that are floating around outside of you. So this kind of connects and links in with another book I really want to recommend that has been life-changing and very supportive for me. So this is Mark Nepo's book, The Book of Awakening. And what I love about this book is it's just a daily dose. There's an entry for each day of the year that you read. And it's just a beautiful, poetic little snippet of how to be awake and alive in your life. And Mark Nepo defines being awake in a spiritual sense as living as close to your life as possible. So whatever is present, you are as close to that as possible. If you're uncomfortable, you're with your discomfort. If you're afraid, you're sitting right next to that fear. If you're joyful, you're embracing it and feeling it fully. 
So the work of Mark Nepo's Book of Awakening and Martha Beck's The Way of Integrity really connect for me because in order to have integrity, you have to be awake and living as closely to your life as possible so that you can hear the whispers from deep within your system about true yes and true no. And then you can act in accordance and in coherence with that yes and no to bring about a life that is in full alignment and integrity so that you can feel whole and complete and embrace what life has for you. Actively making your choices instead of living on autopilot, which is something that I think a lot of us are familiar with in our culture. So I hope this little tidbit was helpful for you guys today. Please subscribe for more great content and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much and take care.